Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. Yes, I You traveled plenty fast. 
Get a long way ahead. Keep him covered, Toto. Now's your horse, Fencer. What are you going to do with that rope? I'll tie your hands with one end. The other end will be fastened to my saddle. Now put your hands behind your back. That's it. You try that move with me, shoot. Toto, I'd like to avoid going into town with this mask. Ride and tell the sheriff I'm bringing in Red Fencer. Ask him to meet me this side of Laramie to take charge of the prisoners there. Uh, he can do that. Get him up. Oh. Easy. Let's be caught. We're ready to go, Fencer. This for you just wait. You see what my pals can do. You try for Caleb and me. Let's go. Get up there. Come on. Oh, good there. Tell you a few things where there'd be no risk of being overheard. Mm. Now, first of all, 
Where's your share of the cash in the Deadwood stuff? In my saddlebag. Why? Don't spend that paper money. Especially not in Laramie. Every store in cafe has a list of the numbers on the stolen bills. Huh? Yeah. That's one of the strong points against Red Fence there. A lot of the money was on him when he was captured. Glad right, you warned me. And what else are you supposed to tell me? The plan for free and Fenster. There's no use trying to break him out of that jail in Laramie. It's too solid. He knows that. What are we supposed to do? Shoot up the courtroom and try to hold guns on everyone while he makes his break? Maybe. But only as a last resort. Yeah, that'd be mighty dangerous. Yeah. We'd have to have a horse ready for him and a gun. I know all that, Lefty. As I said, shooting up the courtroom is a last resort. Now, first, we'll just sit tight and see how the case goes. Since they have a mighty smart lawyer, he'll try to discredit the eyewitnesses or make them change their testimony. Even so, you said they found the stolen cash on Prince. And the lawyer will claim that was put into a saddlebag by the masked man who captured him. On the long range? Yeah, to frame Fancy. I don't care how clever that lawyer is. He'll never make a jury believe that the Lone Ranger framed an innocent man. <laughs> Maybe you'll convince the jury that the masked man was not the Lone Ranger. Huh? You suggest that the masked man is the real stage robber. Ah, mighty thin story. At any rate, Lefty, we're to sit tight during the first couple of days, see how the trial goes. And then what? Then we'll get instructions from the boss. <laughs>
girl sounds like a going musical on it. This is music. Come on, let's get back to the story. I'm anxious. Oh, this is where the commercial's supposed to go, probably. I think you'll, I'll send this copy back to WX in the morning. During the noon recess, Attorney Jackson spoke to Blaze Dorgan. Then Dorgan went to the cafe and sat down at a corner table with Lefty Bilbo. I'm sure you're talking to that lawyer, Blaze. Come to the fire. As an old instruction, sir, or I should say, from Red Fence. I had a hunch you were something to show up. Hey, Lefty, <laughs> do you notice an agent in the courtroom? Yeah. Do you know who he is? No, how about him? No, I never saw him before. His name is Tondo. Tondo? Yeah. He's a Lone Ranger's partner. Mm-hmm. He and the Lone Ranger, the ones who caught me. That's right. And Fenster swore to get even with him. That's our job. Where to do the getting even, is that it? That's part of our job. Well, where is the Lone Ranger? I don't know. I didn't see him in court. Neither did Fenster. But if time is around, the Lone Ranger can't be far away. At least that's how Fenster figures. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, here's the situation, Lefty. The Lone Ranger is a mighty important man in this part of the country. If he didn't think it, nearly everyone would want to save his life. Now, Fenster wants the Lone Ranger to be in danger of being murdered. He wants to capture the masked man. Then what? He's hostage of Red Fenster's life. Word goes out that the Lone Ranger dies and Red Fenster is found not guilty. Uh, I don't know if that'll work, please. We're studying the men on the jury. They're a hard faced lot. Sure they are. And they'll hang Fenster unless we do something. They don't look like the kind of men who can be forced into doing what they don't want to do. I doubt if they let a killer go free. The lefty, those jury men are horse traders and businessmen. They know how to wave at it. Well, even so, I mean, that they'll figure that the life of the Lone Ranger is too much to pay for hanging a man like Fenster. Uh, you're right. You're right or wrong, we're going to follow Fenster's orders. If Fenster's set free, what man do we let the Lone Ranger go? Well, no, of course not. He'd only recapture the boss and not along with him. What's more, Fenster has a promise to keep he wants that last man dead. Oh, as soon as Red is free, we'll all clear out. Maybe weeks before the body of the masked man is found. <laughs> By then, we'll be out of the country. Did he tell how we're supposed to capture the masked man? No, but I think I know how that can be handled. We'll start by capturing Tonto. When? As soon as court's adjourned. This afternoon. <laughs> session of the trial, three eyewitnesses took the stand and identified Red Fenster as the one who had shot the driver of the stagecoach. They were cross-examined by Jackson, but remained unshaken in their testimony. Then there was adjournment until the following morning. What When that Indian leaves the courthouse, we'll follow him. I've been watching the door. He hasn't come out yet. He's the door too. I say Fenster's as good as hung right now. No question of his guilt. Thank you. The sheriff is saying there can be no use trying to put on the case for the defense. Don't you must have realized that when he told us what to do. If that man works, he'll hang. That means we'll hang. I don't know. There's the Indian. Yeah, I feel. Going towards the hitchway up the train to us must be his. Come on, Ray. Let's get our horses. Right. We'll follow him. He should lead us to the Lone Ranger. Young Saddle scowled and began preparing supper when he heard horses approaching. Hi, Indian. Oh, I'd like to talk to you. Oh, well, he's exciting. You're kind of, aren't you? That's right. What you want? The story in court. That's some information for the Lone Ranger. Where is he? Oh, him not here. We can see that. There's two blanket holes inside that lean to. Reckon he'll be coming again. Yeah? You can come by and by. That's all we want to know. Now, hike your head. Huh? Why you draw guns? Heist them, I said. That's it. Disarming Lefty. Right. Why you do this? We're taking you and your masked pal on a trip. Now put your hands behind your back so Lefty can tie them. Inside the lean to Lefty completed the binding and gagging of Tonto, while Blaze moved the horses out of the clearing and tied them in the woods where they would not be seen. During the next half hour, darkness gathered while Blaze and Lefty waited inside the lean-to and listened for hoofbeats that would tell of an approaching horseman. Suddenly, Blaze became tense and whispered, Lefty, I can tell you I'm good. I know I'm holding my gun ready. You try to sound any kind of warning and I'll let you have it on my head. The little ranger 
Bartle, disguised as an Easterner, used a roundabout route to reach the woodland camp from town. As he approached the clearing, he noticed the campfire burning brightly. He had no suspicion that anything was wrong when he saw that the familiar cooking utensils had been laid out. Oh, oh. As he drew rain at the edge of the clearing, two men rushed out of the lean-to with guns drawn. Get your hands up! My hands are up. Hey, Blaze, this isn't the man we want. I see that. This kid was in court during the trial. You better dismount, mister. Be careful you don't get your hands near your shooting iron. Easy, steady. Well, I didn't expect this kind of reception. Take it down, Lester. I got it. Make sure he isn't carrying a sneak gun or a knife. Right. From where he stood at the edge of the clearing, the lone ranger could not see the inside of the lean-to where Toto lay bound and gagged. Instead of resisting, he decided to wait until he learned more about the men who had taken possession of the camp. He submitted quietly to the search. Yeah, he's unarmed. Tie the reins of his horse to that tree. Right. Come on, I walk toward that lean-to, mister. Well, I may have come to the wrong camp. The directions are a little vague. I saw the fire and then... The camp where you're looking for? The camp of a man who is known as the Lone Ranger. You figure on meeting him? Well, I was sure he'd be at the camp when I arrived. All right, stop that fire now. Oh, that Indian inside the shelter. What about him? He's the Lone Ranger's friend. This is the right camp. Yeah, this is the right camp. Find the horse, please. Good. Now tie this damn stand behind his back. Now well, see here, this is a high hand. Get up and give me your hand. I'll have you know that I'm a friend of the sheriff. If you think you... You're an Easterner, aren't you? Do I look like a... a cowboy? No, you sure don't. Well, get this. In this country, the man who holds the gun is the law. Do you savvy? Right now, I'm the law, and when I take home... Now, what's your name? I'll not answer your question. Suit yourself. I'll make this rope good and tight. You find out if the Lone Ranger's coming here soon? Yeah, this man expected he'd be here by now. <laughs> there. I know his hand. I better gag him. Right. Besides the feet, don't you get the engine? Step inside that means to me. I'll do as you say, but you'll pay for this. Shut up and sit down there. Have yeah, a piece of rope? Yeah, right here. Better hurry. I'll have these ankles tied in a couple of seconds. Masked man might be here at any minute. And if he sees us, he'll suspect something before we can get the drop on him. We have got to be out of sight. Uh, then we'll hold his feet. Now I'll get him. Oh, you're right, lady. It was crowded in this room, too, when we were with the engine. Can't both hide here with two prisoners. Just go beyond the clear and hide among the trees. Just be sure those ropes are tight. I have plenty of plank. I guarantee these critters won't get loose. Let's go, Blaze. Let's get ahead. As the outlaws moved away from the lean to Tonto watched the face of his friend. In the firelight, he saw the Lone Ranger drop his eyes significantly to the heavy watch chain draped across his vest as part of the Eastern costume. The Indian nodded, then shifted his position so his hands tied at the wrist behind his back could touch the chain that held a watch at one end and a small penknife at the other. After a moment, Tonto found the knife. When he tried to open the blade, his fingers were numb and thumping. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger could hear the voices of Blaze and Lefty, who were hidden among the trees a few yards away. Oh, we'll handle him. Nice, Easterner. There's a body right here. We'll take him with us. He seems to be a friend of the masked man. What's that got to do? I aim to make the Lone Ranger write a note to the sheriff, saying that he and two friends are held by Bells and Red Fenster, that they'll be killed unless the jury finds Fenster not guilty. The Lone Ranger had let us kill him before he'd write that note. Maybe he wouldn't write it to save his own life. But do you think he'd sit and watch Tonto and that Easterner face torture without doing something? Come, I'll where is that mask man. He should be here by this time. Inside the lean to the Lone Ranger heard enough to realize that his captors were Red Sanster's pals. He and Tonto sat back to back, while the Indian tried desperately to cut the ropes with the small knife. Frequently, the knife slipped from the Indian's fingers, which had been made numb by the ropes around his wrist. Fifteen minutes passed. Then Blaze spoke again. Nasty. I've been thinking about that Lone Ranger. Me too. I've been wondering where he is. He's supposed to ride a white horse. Yeah. That Easton rode a white horse. Well, do you suppose the Lone Ranger is here in camp right now? Dressed like an Easterner? But that Easterner's face is pale. Maybe he's used makeup stuff like they use in the theater. Please. Maybe you're right. Well, let's find out. Come on, get up. Yeah. We'll see if there's a tan skin beneath grease thing. I'm with you. The two outlaws came into the clearing. As they neared the lean to, the Lone Ranger and Tonto leaped out. Take him, Tonto! Take him, Lefty! Take him, Tonto! The fight was short. Taken by surprise, Blaze and Lefty had no chance to draw their guns. In a matter of seconds, they went down before hard blows. That's it, Timothy. Ah, this fellow's still conscious. Not only again. 
my dog. Take your guns, Tonto. Keep them covered while I tie them. I'll meet them yeah. up. Now I'll get my own clothes out of the saddlebag. I'll be glad to get out of this disguise. Yeah, disguise. I thought so. You see the man you were waiting for, Blaze. Uh, I'll wear my mask and my own guns when I take you and your pal to town. <laughs> permitted to visit Red Fenster in his cell before the opening of court. I just wanted to prepare you for the worst, Fenster. There's no way to save your neck. You are through. No, no, Jackson. My pal, who I didn't catch it. Stealing cash was in the saddlebags. They've confessed their part in the sticker, but me and you is the one who fired the death bullet. No. No, that can't be. It can, I tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, those bungling fools. How did they get caught? They were brought in by the same man who got you. The Lone Ranger. Well, what do we say here now? The legs of the network in the past to listen to a replay of the Lone Ranger. Maybe it was best that we remembered it as it was. I'm not sure. This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Mule Incorporated, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Grace Beamer. Uh-huh.